Hey guys, this is Madhuba John from MJC Designs. In this video, let's take a moment and talk about layer combination. I've always wanted to talk about layer combination, just to explain what I understand by layer combination. Archicad came with layer combination and layers. Now, Archicad is even makes your work organized at the same time and neat. I'm going to show you something and what it means to work with layer and the combination. You go to document and you see layer and you click this layers right here or you, you click the um, shortcut control L. And this is the this is the um, dialog box of a layer and layer combination. As you can see, layer combination and layer. I'm going to explain what it means. Okay, by default, Archicad came with um, this from one to uh, nine layer combination, right? Which is site drafting plan, plan preliminaries, plan approved, plan detailed, plan mechanical, plan structure, rendering, and all of what have you. And then these are layers, okay? These are all the layers that you have in Archicad. The one Archicad came by default and the, um, some which I have to create by myself. I'm going to close this right now. I'm going to change the layer combination to this plan approved, which is the main plan approved. This is the dimension plan. Dimension plan, I can always switch for the furniture plan. For the furniture plan, we don't have dimension on it. I want you to know that it's not like Archicad gave you this automatically. Of course, they have their combi layer combination, but you have to set them. As you can see, those dimensions are gone. That's because we turned off the layer in the combination of plan furniture. I'm going to go to plan furniture right now and you, you see that the dimensions are turned off. So go to the plan furniture from this layer combination uh, dialog. This is plan furniture and you see that the dimension is turned off, which is uh, this dimension structure. Dimension structure is the layer of my dimensions is turned off. If I turn it on and I have to update it, when I if I turn it on, I have to update it. If I turn it on and update it. The next time I click plan furniture, it will show dimension together with my furniture layout. So I'm going to update and say okay. As you can see, I have turned on my dimension for the layer combination of furniture, which is wrong. I just wanted the furniture to show in this particular combination, but I've turned it on because I wanted you to see that you can you can control the dimension in your furniture layout. You go back to turn it off because this is, we just want the furniture layout only on the plan. Layer combination is still activated. And we go back to the layer and turn it off. When you turn it off, you have to update it. Say OK. And now all the dimensions will go off because what we actually want is only plan and furniture. You can call it furniture layout when you are creating your, your layer combination. And if you want to create a layer combination, you just click New and you type the combination you want. When you're done with the combination, then you start creating or you start noticing the layer that is attached to any tool you are using, okay? And then we are going to switch for site. I'm going to show you site. Now, as you can see, immediately I switched into site, my site is now showing all the data I have for my site is showing. And this is match, this is fill, this is fill. This is a, um, an object which which the layer and the name of the layer is site. I actually used site because I wanted everything about site to show. This filter which I use for the site is called site and landscape general. So you have to notice the name or you create yours. The same thing with the curves. As you can see, I called it site wall. Um, I'm very sure this it applies to the fence also. I called it site wall. As you can see the dimensions, I call this site, it's still site wall. You can also give it a name of its own, which is site dimension. 
so that you can control it differently. All depends on you. Okay, this is not a total concise. Um, if you actually want to create its own layer, you would you call it site dimension, cabs, car, like this, for instance, this is called car. Because they are under site layer combination, I didn't mind, so I just left it. If this dimension was going to be affected when convert, when changing to site and, um, and plan approved and whatever, I would have actually named it something different. But since they are all for site, I just left it like this and it still works. Okay, so far, you want it to show for site. This this is a um, this is a two D flower. As you can see it's called site um, text. I just assigned it to site text because I didn't I didn't want to just create another layer for it. But you can actually call it shrub, shrub. Okay, so that you can control it differently. You can turn it off anytime you like. Now that I said site text, if I turn off if I turn off site text from this site, you will see that some of the site text that I have right here. Will be turned off, which is which is actually wrong, also, right? But there is no, there is no, there is nothing making me to turn off the side text. So I just assigned it together with this. But if I was if I was going to assign this differently, I will call it shop, which is when you go to layer, I will just come here and say shop, shop like so, okay, and then. I would update it so that it will show for site. Update. Make sure it's on, then update it. And you say, okay. Now, nothing is assigned to to that shrub right there. Now, if I click some shrubs, let me pick some shrubs, and then I look for the shrub I just created, which is this. We also have shrubs here, as you can see. I think this is the shrub. I click, I've assigned it to shrub, right? If I want to control shrub only, this um, the shrubs, I want to control it differently. I can easily go to my layer also and lay, go to layer, come to this, make sure you click where you want to control, which is the site. Then I'll go down to my shrub and that's the shrub right there. I'll turn it off. When I turn it off, I press a update. Okay. Then you say, okay. You you discover that those shrubs I assigned for my new the new layer I just created is gone. So you so that is the importance of creating a different layer for a certain category of object or, or item. Like for this car right now, I I I made it actually car. So if I go to site and I don't want car to show on the site, okay, I'll go to layer. Make sure the combi layer combination you're working on is activated and I'll look for car and then I'll turn it off. When I turn it off, I'll you have to update it. Okay. And then, okay. Now all the cars on my site is gone. All right. So this is how to control items on your layout, on your ArchiCAD layout when having a construction drawing like this. Now I'm going to turn on the shop and the car. Go back to your document layer and layer model view. Make sure this is activated. I'll look for the car. I'll turn it on. You can you can turn more than one layer on, and I'll look for the shops and and turn it on also. Then you update. So as you can see, if you noticed, I actually just assigned this shop to the shop I just created. And there are some that are remaining, which is still site text. I will go and turn off the site text and you discover that some of all that I assigned as site text, 
that are not supposed to be side pairs will go off. So it's important you use the proper layer for what you are doing. But if you don't have the intention to turn off or control any object or whatever, there is no need. But it's actually good to do the right thing. So I'm going to turn off the side text for us to see what is likely to go. Side text updates. There is a lot of things assigned to side text, right? Which is actually so wrong. What was supposed to go was supposed to be only text, but we assigned a lot of objects that are not supposed to be assigned to side text to side text, right? But this is basically because we have intention to control any object or turn off any object. But it's actually good to assign it to the proper layer. I'm going to turn it on, but I'm not going to assign because that's like waste of time. Assign it to the proper layer yet. That, will, uh, that is something I will do after this video, that if it is necessary. So I will update. Now you can see, I can always pick all the shrubs and assign it to the right layer. I just assign it to the right layer, which will show up is this. So same thing goes here. So that's basically a little, I can tell you about layer combination. It helps you to organize the join. When you are working, you have to work with layer. When you choose your wall, make sure you are working with layer. You, you go to your settings and change it to the layer you want wall to be assigned to. It could be, by default, structural bearing, or you create, like I, yeah, as you can see, I created a wall here where I didn't use it. I just chose um, what uh, Akika gave to me. I can easily create my, delete what they have, and create my. So I just chose this, right? The same way with the same way. You 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 do object. I'm going to go to the plan approved, approver. Right, as you can see, we have dimension and text. I have dimension and text. This is for this is zone, zone for kitchen. Okay, and it has its um, square meters. That's a tutorial for another day. Zone has its own layers, model unit zone. This zone is turned on under this layer combination plan approval. Okay, so it's showing dimension is also showing for on for this um, layer combination plan approval okay things that are supposed to show for just um, your dimension plan right you you make sure you turn it on and then for the plan furniture we just want the walls and maybe the grid line that is if you want the grid line but if you don't want the grid line you can always turn it off for this um, furniture layout right we as you can see the grid line the layer is structural grid you can always go to our uh, settings, layer, document, layer, and layer model view. And then, as you can see, the plan furniture is activated, which, is, which means this is the layer combination we want to work on. You go to the layers and you look for structural grid. This is structural grid, right? You can turn it off if you don't want grid line to show for your furniture plan. And then you update. Then you say, okay you would notice all our grid line will go off. Actually, it looks, it looks neater now. That means when you place this on your sheet, you can easily understand it without any overlapping of dimensions and what have you, which makes the drawing looks a little bit messy. And also we can make everything show by just going to document and show all. Okay, this means that you, you want to show all combinations of your join. And when you show all, it looks, it looks messy, as you can see. This is um, all this information right here that is looking messy right now. is a combination of all the layer combination. They are all turned on right now. So they are looking messy. But as you can see, we have the, the fill right there. We have the dimension right there. Everything is on the same position. We have the site, but with your layer combination, you can always differentiate them. 
like so. These are just the two, like the, I think the three layer combination I, I usually use site, furniture, and dimension. I'm still going to talk more about this layer combination, but with this few explanation, you should understand a little about um, layer combination and the importance for this furniture, as you can see, interior furniture. So you can see so if you want to turn this off right easily if you want to easily turn all this off for this um combination you just go to layer make sure this is this is the layer we want to work on plant furniture and when you go to interior furnitures which is the the name of the layer Interior, that's it right there. Turn it off and update, and all the interior furnitures would disappear. And then you will have a plain join. Okay, so just go back and turn it on. So when you use this often, you would um, discover that you get used to it. When you're working, you get used to it. It makes your your work so organized. Very, 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 very organized. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.